Hi, I'm Ben Ackman. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back to Bruise with Brenna, where I style my hair super cute and review craft beer. Last week we took a little bit of a hiatus. I needed a break. I was overworking myself and man, I feel fresh. I feel ready to go for you guys. The beer we are reviewing this week is called Ghost. So I picked this beer honestly because of the packaging and the name. I thought the packaging was super cute. And also the fact that it's local, half pints. It is brewed here in Winnipeg. This beer is 6%. Oh, and it has a high IBU, 50 IBU. Pretty dang happy. Oh, it says it's juicy New England style EP IPA. Attacks with waves of tropical fruit flavors and aromas. Shit, I don't even read that, but damn, that sounds like my style. The hairstyle we're doing today is inspired by none other than Ariana Grande. So it's her iconic style, obviously. I'm gonna do it though without any hair pieces. If she has a ponytail halfway down her back, it is fake hair. I'm gonna do the half up version of it because I know she sometimes wears it half up. We'll, do, we'll go with that vibe. Okay, let's crack this beer open. Oh. Okay, let's try it out, boys. Woo! I am glad I put that in the freezer beforehand. Oh, f she bites, boys. It actually has a really mellow aftertaste, but when you first sip it, it's like, ooh, hops. Like I've said before, hops are the best when your beer is really cold. I don't know, I feel like in order to really enjoy hops, you have to kind of have more of a distinguished palette. Okay, let's get this hairstyle pop in. To prep the hair, I just flat ironed it. If you have like curls from last night or Whatever, that's fine as long as it's kind of styled some way. The first thing I wanna do is section out my front piece, that big swoop that you saw in the picture. So we're gonna do a side part. I, when I, whenever I part my hair on the side, it's usually on this side. If you are part your hair on this side usually, do it on that side, whatever works for you. We're not sectioning this out. This is gonna be taut and then this is just gonna swing over like that. So now we're gonna do our, our sectioning trick, which is put one finger at the top of your ear, like right here. Take it from the crown of your head, right where you want that ponytail to sit. There's almost a fragrant flavor, like a fragrancy kind of flavor to it. It's, it's interesting. Oh, big girl, damn. Okay, so I clipped this out of the way. Now let's do the same to the other side. Now to prep this hair for our ponytail we're gonna put in, I'm gonna use mousse. I'm working it everywhere. Cause if you are only putting the mousse smash on top, all the hair underneath is still like fluffy. It's gonna freaking fluff right up. You wanna make sure it holds down real good girl, real good. I literally couldn't tell you one other beer I've had from Half Pints, but I know I've drinking their beer before. This one's good though. Like hoppy, fruity, delish. Great summer beer. And remember this hand that's holding the hair? You wanna hold the crap out of that hair. You wanna hold it taut, baby. And go right from here, and you're going straight up into your hand. So I like to come in with a comb after, because I feel like the comb gets it snatched. Ooh, look at that. The muscle in my hand is cramping again. So I'm using a hair bungee because this will get your hair the most snatched. But if you only have a regular ponytail at home, use that and make sure it's really strong and not bagged out. So it's a little uneven, so I'm gonna have to redo it. That's why you wanna be looking in a mirror while you're doing it. I have my mirror here, but um, I think that's more centered, yep. My eyebrows kind of feel like Bella Hadid now. Because you know, hers are like way up. I don't know, weird. Okay, I'm drunk. What do you want from me? Okay, so to hide this base, we are gonna take a section of hair from underneath and we are going to use a whack ton of this flexible hold hairspray. Comb it through and wrap it around. 
Now I'm gonna use my blow dryer to dry the hairspray and really set this in place. I'm still holding on to it. I only used one bobby pin because I needed to because I ain't like the best, you know what I'm saying? You know what I like about this beer? It kicks you in the ass. <laughs> Before you know it, you're turned. Like, what are you gonna do? Do you see how pathetic this looks? This is what's gonna kinda happen when you're not using hair pieces or anything for this look. So I'm going to use my trusty bedroom hair and I'm going to... So starting at the front, we're gonna grab a little section here. We're gonna over direct it forward, do some back combing. And let me tell you, it's gonna look a little wild at first. So now guys, let's do the front piece. So we're just gonna take little sections of our hair. Let's use bedroom hair. Cause it smells good. It has a sexual name. Let's try this one too. So combing it before, or like as you style it, is gonna get that profesh kind of look to it. You know what I mean? And using the products. Okay, there's some breakage we're gonna have to deal with. Okay, and my boss gave me these cute little barrettes we are going to use. This is definitely very Ariana vibe. This is what people call, you know, their edges. I don't really know what I'm doing. But I'm gonna try to use a little bit of pomade. Oh yeah. That actually looks way better if I push it back. Oh, look at that, man. Oh, oh, damn. Do another veil of hairspray. Comb it up again, lightly, just with the edge of your comb. I'm not digging in, you see that? So yeah, I'm actually gonna do a little bit of pomade right here. The way that celebrities' hair is able to hold all night is from using nice product and a lot of it. Ariana Grande, she always has her sleeves like this though, I think. Am I Ariana Grande now? Ooh. Ow, ow, that beer's good! Give me a man, cause I'm bored. I want your man, I'm so bored. Anyways, hot secret tip. So I actually learned this trick from Jen Atkin. Basically, if you have a weak hairline, use an eyeshadow similar to your color in matte. Don't use shimmer, don't use no shine, anything. This is a little messy, but this is kind of a taupey color that's similar to my color. I actually have a very strong hairline, but you're even gonna see the difference after me using just a little bit of this. I'm using a fluffy brush. Let me tell you, everything that you see is fake. And do you ever wonder how Kylie Jenner and her blonde best friend have the exact same bodies? Because they have the exact same doctor. So don't you be comparing yourself to those mother so You compare yourself to you, you beautiful girl or boy. Uh, it's mine, it's mine. So adding a shine spray like this, is gonna make your hair look rich, man. I'm just an average girl doing my hair for a night out. Just getting a night in, because I live in freaking Canada, man. Lame. What do you guys think of this look? This is the finished look. I'm actually very impressed I was able to make it look so Ariana. It kind of sucks, because I have like no viewers right now, and I keep putting out this banging, you know, hairstyle content. It's name is Ghost, it's delicious. It's probably Ghost, because it freaking sneaks up on you and bites you in the ass. in a good way. Okay, so final review on the beer. Would I buy this again? No, I would not. I would buy it for my boyfriend, but not for me. Just because there's a lot of hazy IPAs out there and I like ones that are more, you know, more fruity tasting and a little more milky, but still delicious. Just, you know, it doesn't quite make the cut for me. You gotta try it anyway. Let me know what you think. Sorry, half pints. I'll try your sour that I have in my fridge and Maybe that one will make the cut. <laughs> but anyways, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for, you know, my OGs that have been there since day one checking out my videos. I'll see you guys next week. Ooh, hey, and don't forget, there's a beer you want me to try? Comment below.